All right, we've got a big change on the way. Just a couple days left in fall and then winter kicks in on Thursday the 21st and we're going to see it. Hey, a big Arctic blast. If you're traveling anywhere across the US as we go into Christmas weekend and then the week after Christmas or the week during Christmas, um, we're going to see much colder air spilling in across a huge portion of the country is going to get on this cold and we are going to see some very cold temperatures working their way into the southern plains. We're talking highs for some portions of Texas not getting out of the 30s. We'll be close. We could see some uh, areas of central Texas uh, not getting out of the 30s. We'll look at your 70 to forecast. Hey, Temple's in there somewhere. I can see it uh, 54 degrees. We've got the fog out there. Dew point 54 temperature 54 humidity 100% absolutely saturated. We got a lot of moisture in the ground. We're going to get more moisture in the ground. We got a disturbance pumping in moisture in the lower and mid levels. Here's visibility. This hasn't really changed as we've gone through the day anywhere from zero uh, visibility in miles to one to two miles visibility. We'll keep the fog around. We'll keep scattered showers increasing overnight. So areas that start to get some showers in the overnight into tomorrow morning likely we'll see the fog becoming uh, not as dense, uh, but still patchy fog will be with us as we go in the overnight hours. Scattered showers have mostly been off towards the east and east and southeast. Couple scattered showers from Mejia to north of Fairfield. More rainfall is going to be picking up expected as we go from uh, uh, late overnight after midnight into sunrise. Temperature is not going to budge a whole lot. We'll actually see them warming up across the southeast areas as more moisture is pumped in and that forces the temperature up. Temperatures across the southeast are going to be warm and muggy. The dew points it's going to be very thick Gulf moisture is going to work somewhere between Waco to Marlin, and that's going to see temperatures possibly upper 60s to lower to mid 60s. If we can get the thicker dew point moisture to work up towards Waco, then we'll see uh, temperatures possibly being forced up into the mid 60s, but it's going to be muggy. It's just a storm system out here to the southwest. It's going to you see that counterclockwise swirl there continue to spin off towards the northeast. That's our lifting mechanisms taking all that warm, moist air and it's forcing it to rise, cool, condense. We're seeing a little energy out ahead of it, kicking up showers to the southeast. We'll see those continue to move off towards the northeast overnight. Going into sunrise tomorrow, cluster of showers and thunderstorms to the southwest continue to roll northeastward. Could have some rumbles of thunder in here. Heavy rainfall likely with this as we go into the lunch hour. Most of the activity pushes off towards east of 35 as we go afternoon, evening and we'll see a slow clearing west to east overnight into early Wednesday morning areas with some clearing more partly to mostly clear skies could see some of that patchy fall coming back as we go into Wednesday morning. So we'll be watching that for you too. Hey, rainfall is going to be heavy as we go into tomorrow. We could see some areas one to two inches, not out of the question. Some areas could see less than that that don't see as much rainfall. Looking here at your seven day forecast, we're seeing temperatures overall very warm here to finish fall and then Winter officially starts on Thursday and we're going to be filling it as we go into Christmas weekend. Temperatures Monday morning, Christmas morning. Some areas could be in the teens as we're seeing a cold trend coming this way. We'll continue to possibly tweak those temperatures down and we will have to watch the possibility of some moisture around sometime Sunday into Sunday night. Just 10% chance right now. Uh, still several days out. We'll continue to watch that for you. All right, Zach. Thank you very much.